Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Actotech. This is our 1960 Miller Meteor duplex project car. The original intention of this build was uh, to likely make it into an Ecto-1A. So we'll see if we can take it from the mud to the museum. We got ourselves our wheels blasted, zinc coated, and powder coated white. So we're gonna get this baby rolling today and try to clean it up a little bit so we can get ready to go to the body shop. So let's get to it. Just gonna throw a little bit of zinc primer on here. Keep the uh, back face of these wheels nice that we just got done. So, regardless of whether this becomes an Ecto-1 or another Ecto-1, because anyone that's a little bit of a Cadillac and Pink Chianato knows 59 and 60 Cadillacs on the commercial chassis, you know, there's a piece above the door here. This vehicle doesn't have that. So it would be into a lot more body work to get it into a 59, because if you want to have a 1A, Shift the weight there. <clears throat> we got nothing uh, in the back at the moment. But one way or the other, this thing's gonna live again. So this vehicle was in storage in uh, upstate New York. For an unknown amount of time, I uh, finally was able to get the hood open, only to find out that there was definitely some creatures living inside. Obviously, right now, you know, if we're not assembling anything. I guess we're just getting them on. So, got the car rolling again. Do what we need to do with it. Everything's rusty, hasn't been touched. Uh, finally was able to get the hood open. No carburetor. No. Kind of knew this was going to be an up and down, inside and out overhaul. No. And it's definitely going to be just that. I do know that the rear suspension is kind of falling apart. Uh, I think it underneath it. This thing was like packed full of mud. Don't know where it was sitting, you know, previous to where, you know, we got it from, but clearly it was sitting in the mud at some point. So it was gotten from a store, uh, picked up from a yard storage area. But based on what I see here, it was definitely sitting barn, mud, but for whatever reason or another, the car is not rotted, it's rusty, it's got a lot of surface rust, but everything underneath the frame, very solid, the door is very solid, a lot of stuff on the car, very solid. So, let's just take a, give you guys a quick look right here. Uh, that's a little bit better. There we go. I can get my jack stand back now, out of the, out of the mud. So, this is going to be going to our new shop facility to get torn apart. Have a bunch of project cars going on. Uh, besides this one, um, moving this one to the new facility as well. This is going to be a 41st Precinct uh, 
Dodge Monaco, uh, like the one that falls in the hole at the end of Ghostbusters when they go to the uh, fight the Marshmallow Man. And uh, its lineage is apparently already that, uh, that it was an NYPD car, we'll, we'll say. Uh, no paperwork to support that or anything, but you can see that it's got some white showing through like it would have had, so it looks like it had some, you know, rec repaint of some kind, but got the police car wheels back on it, and that'll be uh, for another project, but I'm going to be turning that thing back into a uh, Captain Joe Cirillo uh, police cruiser. So, Alright, back to our 1A, or just say our new Ecto-1, Ecto-1 New Jersey vehicle. Got my uh, assistant, my terror dog with me, helping out. So, Alright, I'll get the back uh, jacked up real quick for you, and we'll see if we can get this baby to roll a little bit and get ready to go to the body shop. down down in the ground right now so see what we can do to get her up.
Although we got a couple jump wheels. in about a week and a half with no wheels on it and with a little bit of rain that we had it seemed to be enough to let it sink down pretty good Our jack is going to start to sink. Get this thing up, put it on the wood, and we'll be ready for our journey to the body shop for our next episode. this on for you guys and I'll conclude our video. You don't need to really watch me struggle with the last one. But I get the general idea.
here's our finished product for now so, stay tuned for the next episode thank you for watching subscribe to the channel